<laughs> the six Bebo's Big Think finalists are in London to compete for the chance to tell the government their big ideas to tackle the issues that matter to you. Careers, crime and climate change. Today they'll each be working with a professional mentor to help them get their two minute pitches honed to perfection and they'll be presenting to a celebrity panel of judges. The panel will then decide which three will get to present their ideas to the Prime Minister and the Cabinet the following morning. Very pleased with the range of people we've got here in terms of the mentors and the mentees from a variety of backgrounds. I think we're really seeing some good quality presentations and what's really, really gratifying is to see the young people are coming forward with confidence and they've got real practical suggestions as to how we can solve the problems of youngsters being disengaged and who feel ignored and their voice not being heard. So far it's been excellent. Um, I've been able to discuss my ideas in further, like in more depth. It's been a bit nerve-wracking at times, but it's been really enjoyable so far. So. Uh, we've been just talking about our ideas and how to make them better. We brainstormed as to what um, what should be in the presentation itself and starting from what, why, how and what change it's going to bring, we, we cut it down to the two minutes, I think, um, and then Angie rehearsed with me so many times, I think it was just fantastic today. My confidence has definitely improved. I came in here this morning and I was literally shaking like a leaf, so I think my confidence is definitely going up a wee bit. I've been sort of helping her, I think, in terms of um, what that um, of how to express that idea in as simple a way as possible really. What's the problem identified? What's the opportunity? Who are we targeting? How will it work? And why will it work? So the kinds of things which I have to, the kind of structure I have to follow every day of my working life when I'm pitching uh, uh, to businesses. It's been good, I've learned a lot. I mean, sort of running through my idea and my pitch with my mentors, like, it's help, the amount of help's been unreal. I'm not feeling too nervous, because um, if I get through, I get through. If I don't, I don't. It's the experience is being here and getting all this brilliant advice from all these incredible people, so. The celebrity panel have arrived to hear the pitches. Ginny Lunn of the Prince's Trust, the musician Goldie, the mountaineer Jake Mayer, apprentice winner Michelle Jubery, and Tessa Jell, Minister for the Cabinet Office, will all decide who gets to pitch to the Cabinet in the morning. I'm so looking forward to this. I think that we feel just so grateful for the way in which you've responded to this and uh, you know, the fantastic ideas that you've come up with. So, uh, good luck. I'm nervous about seeing the panel, <laughs> but um, I believe in my idea and as long as it come across that way and they understand what I'm saying, I'm sure they should go quite well. <laughs> Very well. You've got, as you know, two minutes to just set out your idea for us, and then we've got between six and seven minutes to ask you questions. I think before I walked in, I was quite nervous, but uh, I was the first one, so I think that um, helped in a, in a way. Once I started presenting, those two minutes went quick, and they, they asked a lot of questions, a lot of interesting questions around the idea. So since I had come up with the idea, I was able to answer those questions, I think, anyway. I was very, very nervous when I was waiting. I thought that I was going to lose my track of thought and stuff like that, but then I actually eased into it and was able to present my idea and relax and say it, so... Yeah, it was, it was really good, actually. I, yeah, it went really well. The experience, obviously, of presenting an idea to a panel of such, you know, such famous and successful people is obviously something that you don't, you don't forget in Harry. It was better than expected. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was quite nerve-wracking and quite intense, but as soon as you go in it's quite intense, but once they start talking they make you feel really comfortable and it's good. It's like in a bit of a weird state, you've just come out there and you're off and away a little bit, but you know, I feel good, sort of, I was happy with what I did, I like, I don't feel I made any like mistakes, I didn't like drop any notes or I didn't, you know, forget what I was supposed to say and I felt I got across what I wanted to get across. Uh, it went well, I think. Uh, it was really tough the way I spoke. Nerve-wracking, but they made me feel 
at home it made me feel comfortable. It was very difficult from our point of view because we had six very, very strong candidates who had, all had great ideas. I knew that they'd all be pretty good and pretty switched on and I, I followed Bebo and I followed uh, the site and in terms of the conversations and uh, what people were talking about and the talking points. And so, yes, we've got the cream of the crop here. So, in terms of their quality, I actually thought that was more or less what I was expecting. But even so, incredible that people of that sort of age are coming up with these great ideas and they're able to actually run with them. Pearl, Danielle and David are the lucky three who will present their ideas to Cabinet tomorrow morning in Downing Street. I think it went brilliantly and it's a reminder that, of what one should always remember which is that the greatest inspiration about how to make the lives of young people better comes from young people themselves. I think most of the youth courses in the country have got great ideas. I think it's how, how you get the certain voices to listen to them. My advice to young people is just believe in yourself no matter what it is that you want to do. Even if you're just you know, a little unsure of what it is or confused, just believe in yourself and your ideas and just have the confidence to just go for it. I think it's fantastic, I mean, the, not just my idea, you know, the people I've met here, but I know a lot of young people who've got really great ideas, but because they're young, they sometimes feel that maybe people won't listen to them. But I think if you give them the chance, and like with the mentoring and, you know, coming here, you give them the confidence to go out and do it, I think they could really impress people. I'm really excited because I wasn't sure if I was going to get it, but I have, so I feel really excited about it. and. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, even though I'm not going to lie, I am still nervous about tomorrow because it's a big meeting. Really excited, obviously. Again, it's not every day you get to present your idea to um, Gordon Brown and the rest of the cabinet. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm so excited about it all now. Really can't wait for tomorrow. Everyone looking straight this way, please. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this morning, we well, just walked up to um, number 10 and like just been talking to people, having cups of tea and stuff like that, trying to keep relaxed. I kind of kept it in my mind. I've been trying to think about what I would say if they asked me certain questions, but I didn't get much sleep at all. I've just been tossing and turning, thinking about it, but I'm excited as well. In a way, there's no, I think there's less pressure because you don't have to win anything. I'm just trying to say, uh, relax. He's got a brilliant idea, so, uh, so it's just a case of doing exactly what he did yesterday and uh, he'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, very, very well. It's, it's yes, really good to be here. It's well, thanks course. for everything you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, well done. Thank you. Well, uh, colleagues, I'm going to introduce to you our three, um, our three winners, and they're each going to do a short presentation to you of the ideas. Danielle, would you like to start? Danielle Burns is our first presenter. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Morning. 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 <laughs> I'm Danielle, I'm 24, and I've come from Belfast, and I have a son who's one. And I'm here today because I would really love to make job hunting more exciting for 16 to 24 year old unemployed people. I don't know the last time any of you went to a job centre, but in my experience, I find them very intimidating, dull, and embarrassing. So I thought, how can I change this? So I've come up with the idea of tips. And peace is short for people, which is what my project is all about, the people. And most importantly, for our young people of our generation, they get to meet employers in a stress-free environment, and the employers also get to meet them. Thank you for your time. It went really well. I was really, really nervous, obviously, at first, but then the cabinet really received me really warmly and it went really well, they enjoyed it and a lot of people afterwards spoke to me about my ideas. Oh it's been absolutely wonderful, I've really enjoyed um, meeting all the young people, it's been exhilarating for the, the mentors um, but it's been a wonderful experience for the mentees as well I think. It went really well, they all, they all like, seemed to like the idea, um, no problems with the speech, I, I felt more confident in that room with all those people than I had at any, any point in the speech, it was the best, out of all the practice is all the rehearsals I've done, that was the best it went. So. Let's say, if any more of these projects come up, take part, they're excellent. Any opportunity you get like this, just go and do it. It's just so worth it. So worth it. I would say anything is possible. If you've got any ideas, come up with them. You can, nothing's beyond you, just you know, go for it. <laughs>